It's Morgan. Oh, hey there, Morgan. What brings you to YouTube in this fine day? And I realized I haven't made a video in like six months, and my last video was more of a funny video, and most of my videos have been like funny videos, but today is like a serious topic. What is a prize? Okay. Well, let's talk then. What is it you want to talk about then? I'm all ears. Yeah, that's not exactly important. You, you do have a nice hair, by the way. I just want to get that out there. Follow me on Instagram. Okay, so basically, a couple months ago, I saw a post on Facebook, and it's been bugging me the entire time. So the post on Facebook is, I'm sick and tired of these fucking feminists. We aren't here to do everything a man can do. We're here to do everything they can't. Okay, this should be good. You are bothered by someone who wants to do something another person can't do. Okay. I can't wait to hear how you're going to say how, I can't wait to hear how you think it's a bad thing. That makes me so mad. Like, I don't think my sole purpose on this earth is to have babies. No one as far as I know is saying your sole purpose on earth is to have a baby. If that's something you want, you want to have a baby, that's fine. You don't want to have a baby, that's fine too. It's whatever. Individual choice. However, my personal view on them on this matter is it okay. And this is just what I think, okay? Feel free to have whatever viewpoint you want to have. But, my viewpoint is, babies shouldn't come unless there's a marriage involved. And that decision should be made between both the husband and the wife mutually. This is, it's a very big step to have a baby. Okay. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not saying how people should live their lives. That's something a lot of them do. But yeah, your choice. Okay. Okay. But yeah, your choice. You want to have a baby? Go for it. If not, then whatever. The only thing that men need a woman for is to procreate. Like. Or, no, no, no. It's kind of dumb to just say that um, men only need a woman to procreate. Maybe, just maybe, a man is getting with a woman out of loneliness. You know, he wants someone to spend his life with. It's not just women. And it, sorry, I just dropped on my makeup brushes. I'm gonna, I went on Facebook, and I found this page called Women Against Feminism. Joy, yeah, you found a page called Women Against Feminism. You're about to go on a diatribe and how that's a bad thing, aren't you? And Women Against Feminism posted a status July 13th at 9.30 a.m. Fill in the blank. I am not a feminist because blank. And it has 191 likes, 39 shares, and a ton of comments. So I'm going to read some of them and then kind of give my response. The this should be good. First one is, I like chivalry. I enjoy manners. I am not insulted by a man opening my door. Feminism is for angry women who think they're entitled to more than men because of their plumbing. I don't know. I to their pl To their plumbing? Okay, I, I get that doesn't quite make sense. But yeah, everything else is pretty reasonable response. I am not a feminist because I love and respect traditional men. <laughs> We don't think we're entitled to more than men. We think we're entitled to what equality. It's not putting us above the man. It's Your words basically mean nothing when you're demonstrating the opposite. I've seen so many anti-male comments, posts, and articles by feminists who are openly anti-male and female supremacists. Right there level with the man. The majority of feminists are like 
yo, just like pay me the same amount and make me equal like to a man. Well, that's kind of funny here, this ra this rage gap, okay? This rage gap just assumes that you are paid less just because you have a vagina. But there is a distinct difference between getting paid less and earning less. Okay, now I don't mean to come up as like a misogynist here, this is not my intention, but see, women tend to be uh, a, bit, a little bit lazier. They tend to not get as much work done as a typical man does. Okay, a lot of women I've seen, and this I'm speaking on my I'm speaking on behalf of myself, but a lot of women I've seen tend to take up gender and women studies, which doesn't open any opportunity for a good paying job. But there have been some women that I have seen who was willing to put in that extra effort, was willing to work hard to open up the opportunities for a good paying job and I commend them greatly but that's just it it has more so to do with job choice it has to do with um, your diploma which opens up different opportunities for different people it has to do with hours worked and the biggest thing here is maternity leave. I'm not sure if you're aware of like what maternity leave, maternity leave kind of means. You take some extra time off work to basically just look after your kid and maybe like during the pregnancy process. But a lot of feminists I've seen just we want our cake and eat it too. That's to summarize it up. are inherently racist because you can't have a common sense conversation with a feminist entitled angry so many reasons I'm not a feminist yeah this was tied to what I was just saying earlier Morgan but yeah just openly man hating and openly anti-male saying men are inherently rapists and you quote teach men not to rape that is just blatant misandry to treat all men as potential rapists, inherently rapists. Just, the list goes on. What? I have never met anyone who has thought, like, boys are inherently rapists. Like, no, I think that you need to have a conversation with both girls and boys. But not with feminists, as they are in no way interested in having a civil civil discussion. At a certain age, about consent, because sex without consent is rape. And to educate about consent. Why? Like, consent classes? Mandatory consent classes? Like, uh, serious question. Is that even still a thing anymore? Mandatory consent classes. What's so difficult about consent to understand? That's what I want to know. What's so difficult to understand about consent? Consent is something in your head. Okay, it's like, you openly invite sexual activity. Okay, that, that in a way is kind of consent. Okay, and 
the biggest BS thing I've heard about consent is that it has to be a verbal yes. My problem with this is, what if, and I'm saying this is a what if, because I know people like to, like this exists, but what if a um, woman who has speech problems, and when I say speech problems, I mean can't speak all that, all that well as you and I are. What if that woman wants sex? She can't give a verbal yes. Is it impossible for her to give consent if it needs to be a verbal yes? Not only that, but this this little thing called body language, social cues, and whatnot. Not all of our communication is verbal. Um, this woman put sixteen reasons um, why she is a feminist, and I'll copy them in the description below so that you can read them. But they're all really ignorant. And I just, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'll copy those in the description. Ah. And we'll take a look at that, and we'll take a look at that later. Okay, the next one is, I've never been a victim. I have opportunities and my future is in my hands. I chose, in all caps, to, stay, to be a stay-at-home mom with my babies and raise them. I don't need a career to define me. I love my husband and am proud to serve him the best I can. Okay, just, just judging by the look in your face, you're going to say the most inherently ignorant thing possible. But yeah, if a woman chooses to be a stay-at-home mom, that's whatever. Shouldn't be a big deal, right? Like, is it a problem that other women do what they see fit? I mean, shouldn't you applaud women who want to do... Well, whatever, whatever it is the fuck they want to do. Like, yeah, I applaud women who want to go for a high-flying job. You know, that's that's fine, whatever. You know, they're securing a stable living for themselves, which that's that's pretty good. Which I don't... Okay, I'm going to ruffle a few feathers by saying this, but I don't think it's about making more money. It's about securing a stable living. That's, that's what I'm going to get out of the way. Okay, I applaud that. If they want to be a stay-at-home mom, I applaud that too. They they're doing what it is they want. That's a good thing in my eye. So come on, tell me how this is a bad thing. Okay, feminism made it possible for you to choose to stay at home instead of you being forced to stay at home and not being allowed to go out and get a career. That just it makes no sense to me. Uh, the next one is I am not a feminist because I am not of the herd mentality. And I know that here in the Western world, women are not oppressed. Yes. I love getting paid less than a less qualified man in my same position. Citation, please. Again, this Pega does not take into account different jobs. Okay? I don't know what it is with you feminists and, like, the pay gap... Trying to say that you are paid less in the same field of work. Okay. There's also different positions in your field of work. That pay differently. Okay. A manager like, of a fast food restaurant. No matter, what, no matter who that manager is. Will tend to get paid less than someone who works the counter. Someone who preps the food. It's not about hating people. It's about loving people and being equal. Because feminism is all sunshine and fucking rainbows, isn't it? Oh, joy, we care more about women's issues, but we care about men. That's why they're all fucking rapists and need to be in prison because of a female say-so. I'm inclined to agree, actually. Then shave your legs. 
I haven't needed feminism since 1920. Yes, now you can vote and get paid less than a man. Go ahead, help me out here. The wage gap is simply the average earnings of men and women working full time. It does not count for different job positions, hours worked, or different jobs. It has nothing to do with the same job. It has nothing to do with discrimination. Thank you. I've already debunked the whole rage cap thing. I'm not about to do it again. Girl that has an article, I'll link it down below. It says, I'm a feminist because most boys my age seem to be more disgusted with periods and menstrual cycles than they are with rape. Which makes so much sense. And I just feel that on like a spiritual level. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that I've changed at least a couple people's opinions and it... I doubt you even did that. I hope that a lot of you feminists have agreed with me. Post your comments down below if you agree and if you disagree with me. And why not? Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and all that kind of stuff. I guess all these people are inherently, um, internalized misogynists, aren't they? And yeah, regarding that last bit of your video... Yeah, menstruation is gross. But at the same time, so is rape. I do- yeah. But here's the problem! Feminists are acting like shields. To protect false rape, <laughs> false rape accusers. This harms the credibility of real rape victims. If you didn't act like a shield to protect false accusers, and going after um, them, condemning them beyond belief, who may actually help rape victims, unless you care more about the ideology, whatever. Anyway, that's that's it. Cross out. See ya. Back here for well, whatever. You Morgan may happen to be the uh, most pleasant feminist I had to deal with. I gotta give you a point there. <laughs>